الحمد لله وكفى والصلاه والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على افضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الامين وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وبعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونزلنا عليك الكتاب تبيانا لكل شيء وهدى ورحمه وبشرى للمسلمين صدق الله العظيم we begin with allah's blessed name we praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified and we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all the blessed prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam our subject is entitled prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the world today prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the world today this lecture is being delivered on the occasion of the death the birth anniversary which is also the death anniversary of the blessed prophet alayhi salatu wasalam the 12th of rabiul awal it is a time when normally qasidas are sung in praise of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam there's nothing wrong with that but there's something far more important than singing in praise of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam at this time and that is going to be the subject of our lecture tonight The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said I leave behind me two things so long as you hold on to them you'll never go astray the book of Allah and my way of life my sunnah and tonight we ask the question are we holding on to the book of Allah and are we holding on to the sunnah or have we in effect abandoned the book of allah and have we in effect abandoned the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam while yet singing in praise of him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in the quran and he says laqad kana lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana surely you have surely most certainly you have in the messenger of allah the best the best the best possible model of human conduct nothing can be better than this have we held on to the best or have we substituted something else and abandoned the best Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again says in the Quran in kuntum tuhibbuna Allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum Allah If you love Allah then follow me Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and Allah will love you Anyone who is loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has reached the highest pinnacle that any human being can reach There's nothing higher than that that you should earn Allah's love and the way or the road to earn Allah's love is to follow the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam are we following him no not all muslims do that and he said so he said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam that on the day when we shall be raised to life again from the grave to face judgment it will be very hot people will be very thirsty and they will want water and the followers of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam would go to him and he will be standing by the spring of al kawthar in a'tainak al kawthar a spring of water 
and he will be giving us water to drink to quench our thirst. But there will be some who when they go to him for water, he would refuse to give them water. And they would say, O Messenger of Allah, we are Muslims. Why are you not giving us water? We are Muslims. And he would say, you changed the religion after I left. And so no water for you. Indeed, he gave an even greater warning than that. He said, he prophesied. He says, you're going to do it. What? Instead of following me, Muhammad Islam, you will abandon me and you will follow those who came before you. You will follow them step by step. Those who came before you. To such an extent that if they were to go down into a lizard's hole, you will also go down into the lizard's hole. So we ask, O oh, Messenger of Allah, who are you referring to? Those who came before us. Are you referring to Jews and Christians? He said, who else? Who else? And so one day, the Jewish Christian world is going to exert such a powerful influence over the Muslims that we will effectively abandon Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam and instead of following him we'll be following them and we we'll follow them so slavishly that even if they were to go down into a lizard's hole we'll go down into the lizard's hole with them and so today on the 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal we ask the question are we also in the lizard hole? It doesn't make sense to be singing Qasidas in praise of the Prophet if you're down into the lizard's hole. No. If you're in the lizard's hole, the better thing to do is to study how to get out of it rather than to sing in praise of him. So tonight we're going to ask the question. And of course it's going to be a bitter, a bitter, a bitter question to us. In what ways will we follow those who came before us? He even gave an example. He said they go fight among themselves and they go divide themselves. They go have 72 different divisions. Pentecostal, Seventh-day, Baptist, Anglican, Presbyterian, Catholic, Mormon, 72 and you go do more than that you go give me 73 he said so you go fight among themselves yourselves so much and divide amongst yourselves so much and you go go down deeper in the lizard's hole and they went down you go go down 73 we ask ourselves today do we see the same divisions in our ranks? Do we see Muslims separating themselves and dividing themselves just as the Christians and the Jews? And then ask, are we also in the lizard's hole? Have we abandoned Muhammad to Islam and following them as he prophesied? In fact, he prophesied something worse than that. He said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam yushiku an ya'ti ala nasi zaman that there will come a time when nothing will remain yushiku an ya'ti ala nasi zaman la yabqa min al-islam illa asmu there will come a time he said more certainly when nothing will remain of Islam but the name the religion is gone. All that remains is this shell. 
the rice grain gone. All that remains is the husk. He said that time will come. And that time will certainly come when nothing will remain of the Qur'an. 